Hello friends and welcome to V Kids Summer Camp! Woo! I am so happy that you guys have joined me here today. So why don't we start off with a word of prayer and jump right in! So bow your heads and close your eyes and repeat after me. Heavenly Father, we thank you for this glorious day. Let us learn about your word and hide it in our hearts so that we may not sin against you. We love you and in Jesus name we pray, amen. All right, so let's go into our first worship song and we have something fun, so let's Dive into it. All right, kiddos, it is time for worship. So let's go ahead and start off with a word of prayer. Bow your heads and close your eyes and repeat after me. Heavenly Father, thank you for today. Thank you for our bodies. Thank you for your grace and your mercies that are new every day. Let us glorify you in everything that we do. Let us worship you with all of our mind, soul, strength, and heart. In your precious son's name we pray. Amen. All right, stand on up and let's get ready for a fun worship song.
to think about how much we want to give for God's kingdom. So go ahead and tell mommy and daddy how much you want to give. And you can give through the Church Center app. You can also use this QR code, scan it on your phone, and it'll take you to the Church Center app as well. And that's it. Thank you and God bless. Hi friends. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Miss Jessica, and I am so happy to be your counselor and explorer for V Kids Summer Camp for the next nine weeks. Now, before we get started, we always have a little friend who's yellow and black who likes to hmm, help us to remember some rules. What is his name again? Doobie! Doobie! Can you guys call Doobie for me? Say, Doobie! Doobie! Where are you? I think you need to say just a little bit louder. One, two, three. Doobies! Oh, there he is! All right, and Doobie, we need to share our rules. So let's go over our rules with Doobie. And do it with me if you know it. Ready? Be a listener. Be a watcher, be a friend, be kind, be a listener, be a watcher, be a friend, be kind. That was so good. And since you're here in this position, give yourself a big hug. That was nice, huh? <laughs> All right, so as you can see behind me, we are going to be studying God's Word. And today, we have some pretty awesome stuff. So let's look at the pictures behind me. Where shall I start? Well, why don't we start with the very first picture? Does anyone know what this picture is showing? Hmm. Yes, the Bible. And the Bible is God's word. Remember that. What is this? Some of you have seen it in your homes. Yes, it is a lamp. And a lamp provides what? Dum, 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 dum. Light so we can see. Otherwise, we would be in the dark and we would bump into things and that would be not delightful, huh? All right, let's look at this. <gasps> Who has these on their body? I do. Yes, these are feet. And you need feet to what? To stand, to walk, to jump, to dance, right? Feet are very important. All right, and it takes us to places, doesn't it? And what's this? Yes, it's a light bulb. And if you look around your home, I'm pretty sure you can find a light bulb somewhere. It's either going to be up there on the ceiling or in a lamp like this one. All right, and this last picture, can you see this one? This is a picture of a path and a path takes us to places, right? So let's go ahead and read our Bible verse. I'm gonna bring you a little closer. All right, Psalm, 119 
105. Verse 105. Let's say that one more time. Psalm 119, verse 105. All right. And it says, Your word is a lamp for my feet and a light, just like this here, on my path. Let's read that one more time. Your word, remember it's God's word and he put it in the Bible for us to read, is a lamp for my feet and a light on my path, just like this. All right, friends, so let's talk about the Bible verse a little more. What does it mean exactly that God's word is a lamp for my feet? Hmm. Let's think about that for a moment. What does that mean? Hmm. <gasps> I know. When you are in the dark and the lights are all off, let's practice this. We're going to pretend we can't see. So let's close our eyes. And then let's put our hands over our eyes to make sure we definitely cannot see. All right. I want you to now look down at your feet. Can you see it? Do you see your toes? I don't. It's completely dark. And that's a little bit of what it means. Let's go a little further. It also says, and a light for my path. What do you think that means? Oh, I know. It's like if I was to turn off all the lights right now, can you see me? Let's try it. Woohoo! Can you see me? Hello, hello. Let's turn on the lights. <gasps> there I am. You weren't able to see me in the dark, were you? Yeah, that was very hard. So good thing there is light so that we can see where we're going which is our path, right here. Okay, so let's dive into it a little deeper. We are going to find something. I don't know what it is yet because you are going to help me find it. It is hidden. I don't know who hid it, but I just know that this thing needs to be found. So we're going to go find it. Are you guys ready to go with me to go find it? I can't hear you. <gasps> then let's go. Friends, I was told that in this room, I will find the hidden treasure. But I think it's kind of dark in there. And I'm not sure where to go or where to start. What should I do? <gasps> You're going to give me clues? How did you get clues? Oh, thank you, I just got them. Well, let's take a look. All right, friends, I got the clues. Where do I go? You can't see them, huh? I can't either. It's so dark. What do we do? Hmm. What a great idea, we need a flashlight. Let me go grab one real quick. All right, I got a flashlight. Now I can see the clues. Can you? All right, so X marks the spot of where we need to go. And it looks like, so I'm here, it looks like I need to walk straight and then turn right. And then I'll find my clue. All right, here we go. Can you guys see my feet? Let's start walking. 
Hmm, walk straight. Okay, keep walking and walking, walking, walking. Okay, I can't walk anymore. Where do I go? Do I turn right or do I turn left? Oh, it says turn right. Okay, here I go. Walking, walking, walking until I hit a rectangle. <gasps> I found it. What is here? <gasps> it's Doobie. We found Doobie. Where did you go, Doobie? Did you fly away? Bzz, 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 bzz. So let's go over what just happened, friends. Do you remember when I said there's a little treasure that we needed to go find who just happened to be Doobie? Well, I had no idea where Doobie was, so I needed some help. And you gave me clues, remember? That's like God's word. God's word gives us very, very good advice for our whole life. If we ever have a problem, if we're ever sad, even in our happy times or when we don't know what to do, all the answers are right here in the Bible. And we can pray to God and he will answer us. So the Bible was and is, in our clue just right there, it was the clue it was the light that guided our path to the treasure. So when we have God's word in our heart and when we study it and follow it, it will guide us to the right places, to the treasure, which is him. So isn't that really important? Shouldn't we really treasure God's word and study it and learn it and hide it in our hearts? That's a good choice, huh? All right, so why don't we recite our Bible verse just one more time. Your word is a lamp for my feet and a light on my path. Psalm 119 verse 105. Keep practicing, y'all. So, you just celebrated 4th of July, didn't you? Well, I wanted to share some fun facts with you because fireworks, they what? They light up the sky, right? So I wanted to first share with you some fun facts of 4th of July. Let me gather it here. Did you know that in 1804, which was quite a long time ago, the White House, that's where the president lives, they celebrated Independence Day for the first time. Pretty cool, huh? Look, that's the White House. Can you guess why it's called the White House? <laughs> You're right, because it's white. All right. Does anyone know who this is? Thomas Jefferson! Thomas Jefferson first held Independence Day celebration at the, you guessed it, White House! Hello, my name is Thomas Jefferson. And it wasn't until almost 80 years later that it was declared a holiday. And that's kind of what you saw yesterday, wasn't it? Lots and lots of beautiful fireworks in the air. And it was very loud, but it was very beautiful, right? It lit up the sky. And it's a celebration of our freedom. Our freedom to worship God. So now we're going to explore some fizzy fun. Let's go. Oh, 
Before we begin our fizzy fun, I have two little helpers and I've taken out the ice cubes from before and we're just going to put the ice cubes here on the ground. Mm. And let's see, <laughs> you could see the ice cubes here. I'm going to pour some vinegar into their cups. And hold on, helpers. Water. Okay, I want you to pour the vinegar slowly on our ice cubes and see what happens. Pick up the cups, little helpers, and put it on the ice, our little pile of ice. Mama? Huh? Oh, whoa, whoa. Look at the dog. Do you hear the fuzz? Wow, do you see that? Huh? Oh, oh. Wow. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Do you see all the colors? Yeah. And the fizzy sound? Oh, yeah, the chemical reaction yeah. between yeah. the vinegar yeah. and the baking soda? Oh, yeah. oh, and show me your hands. Oh. Wasn't that so much fun, kiddos? All right. So to wrap up this lesson, let's close with a word of prayer. And then I have a message for your parentals. So make sure your adults are in the room. All right, go ahead and close your eyes, bow your head and repeat after me. Lord Heavenly Father, we thank you for our Independence Day celebration. Thank you for our freedom Thank you for our family. Thank you for Jesus Christ. And thank you for the freedom we have in your son, Jesus. In his name we pray, amen. And I will see you next week for another fun-filled activity. Okay, parents, for this next portion, I am going to guide you to all the resources we have available and made available to you on our Planning Center group website. So you're going to go to the website. Uh, you have to register you, with an email and a password. You probably already have it, so you're just going to have to play around and figure out what your username is. It's most likely your email. And once you get there, you will go to groups and you have been assigned to your summer groups, which were also the Puggles, the Cubbies, the preschoolers, you'll see it up there. And um, you're going to click resources and then you'll see all the lessons that we're going to go through. You will see 12 lessons, but we're actually only going to cover um, nine to 10 of them depending on the flow. You are more than welcome to continue the activities later at home uh, and also to continue the lessons. So there's actually an activity you can do every day with your child regarding our lesson on Sunday. So for this one, um, you can do a little bit on, you can do, you can cook with them. You can do the fizzy fun. You can do, um, you'll see on there, there's lots of fun things you can do. So if you have any questions, you can email Vineyard Kids at, I'm sorry, that's gonna be vkids at vineyardofharvest.org. 
and you can also use your church center app which i highly recommend you downloading and registering so that you can um, use it for the reopening when it happens and you can also use it to message the group anytime you have questions you need help um, that's going to be a great resource for you as well and to stay connected so let me know if you have any questions. Otherwise, see you on Church Center and listen to the next couple of videos to see um, how you can get those resources. So you will have access to your planning center. Make sure you go to planning center and then you click on your groups. Once you click on your groups, you will find either Noah's Ark Preschooler or Noah's Ark Summer. And I'm going to click on the uh, Puggles and once you click on there, you will see resources. So click on the tab that says resources and you can download our curriculum. Once it is download, you will see here, like today we did the prep or we did 4th of July. There are activities for you to do throughout the week. So you can go over this with them, which is what I did. You can print out these cards for them. This is the NLT translation. I did the NIV translation. And these are the fun facts that I went over. And then here are all the activities that you can do every single day. Um, you can do paper plates, make uh, balloon tennis and so forth. And these are activities you can even cook with them. And here, you guys already did this yesterday. So you watch the fireworks. So make sure you go and you download the resource. I have also enabled the chat so you guys will be able to chat with us. Let me show you that.